Okay, so let's get started. One of the first things we need to do is we need to actually choose our parent theme that we're going to be basing this on. And I already mentioned in a previous tutorial that I'm using the 2012 theme. I know it's a really boring theme, but it's a great theme to be learning with because there's not a lot to distract you. So I'm going to be using the 2012 theme as my parent theme here. Um, the first thing is you need to make sure that the theme is actually installed in your site and in this case it obviously is, okay? Um, you can choose any theme. You can do this with any theme that you want but I'll be doing it with the 2012 theme, okay? Just to demonstrate this. Once I've chosen my theme, my parent theme, then what I need to do is I need to actually start creating the structure um, to contain my child theme information um, on my web server. In order to do that I'm going to have to switch over to Cyberduck um, or to your preferred uh, FT client um, and we're going to have to go in here and start creating a few files and folders. There's not a lot to create so we'll just take it step by step. Um, so here is my the folder that is containing my WordPress installation and I need to navigate to the themes directory and in this case I happen to know it's inside the WP contents folder so I'm going to move inside there and then there it is we've got all our plugins are stored inside this folder and all our themes are stored inside this folder so let's double click on there and here we are we're now currently inside the themes folder okay on my WordPress installation and unsurprisingly we have three themes here we've got 2014 2013 and 2012 and lo and behold that corresponds to the three themes that we currently have installed on this particular demo site. Perfect, okay? So let's switch over here and let's do step one. Step one, very, very simple. We need to create a folder to contain our child theme. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right in Cyberduck. I'm going to right click, I'm going to do new folder, and I'm going to give this folder a name. Now, the naming convention, the name for the folder cannot have any spaces in it. And generally speaking, um, it's common practice to use the name of the parent theme folder and then just add dash child at the end of it. So in this case, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it 2012 because that's the name of my parent theme folder. And then I'm going to go dash child. Technically, you could call this anything you want to as long as you follow the, the correct naming convention in terms of, you know, all good idea to have it all lowercase, no spaces, okay? Um, but 2012 child dash child is going to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and create that. And there we go. I've just created an empty folder in here. There's nothing in here, okay? We need to actually go in here and we need to, so I'm going to go inside this folder and we need to actually create a style sheet that is going to be unique to this particular theme, this particular child theme. Now, Here's the thing, technically speaking, the only file that is required to make a child theme is this style sheet. Okay, there's going to be, over time, you're going to start adding lots of extra files, you know, that's going to be part of your whole customization process. Uh, but to get started, the only thing that you, you know, quote unquote, legally need to make this a proper child theme is a style sheet. The name of the style sheet is going to be style.css and we're going to have it inside the child theme folder. So I'm going to go ahead and create this child theme, this the style sheet right in here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to just go ahead and create new file and I'm going to give it the correct name which is style.css. Pretty simple, right? So there we go. We click create. Okay, there's my file. So let's just go back just to, to view. I can actually drop this down. Um, this is going to obviously not contain nearly as many files as this folder right here, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm just going back inside here. Here's my style sheet. Now my style sheet is just an empty file at this point. We do need to add some text inside here. So I'm going to use Text Wrangler to edit this. And again, if you um, are using a different uh, um, text editor, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing in here right now, but we do need to put some basic information. I happen to have this information stored in a plain text file right here. I'm going to open up this plain text file. This is my sample code for the child theme. Uh, for this, for the time being, I'm just going to cut and paste this code in here. In the next tutorial, I'm going to walk through this code line by line. Um, primarily so that you can understand what the code is doing, but also so you have time to actually type it out yourself and perhaps you can create your own little um, sample code file that you can keep on your desktop somewhere and then you can use that for, for later use. Um, but for now, I'm just going to select all of this. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste that right inside here and we'll see because I'm using Text Wrangler, Text Wrangler does a little bit of color coding for me just to make it easier for me to read my CSS and that's fantastic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm just going to do a Command S to save that and let's go 
back to CyberDuck and let's just refresh that and sure enough there we go we've got now there's a little bit of content inside there I, I know that this is the latest version because it says modified today at 602 and it is 602 right now now I'm going to leave that as is for now okay in the next tutorial I'm going to go in and I'm going to go through these things line by line and explain what each line does as well as we're going to replace this with the correct information for our child theme okay so I'll see you in that video